Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a review on three lipsticks that I own. So I'm going to do a review on my New York Color Cameo lipstick and L'Oreal Color Juice in Personality and these reviews were requested by Spoon411 and I'm also going to do a review on the L'Oreal Hip Lipstick and this was requested by Green Pie 3 so um, Spoon411 I know you requested this review a very very long time ago um, I'm sorry I just never got around to doing it and I actually don't really wear the New York Color Lipstick that much um, yeah so I'm sorry <laughs> So let's start with the New York Color lipstick. This is in the color Cameo. Cameo. And here's the color. I don't know if you guys are able going... I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the true color. I don't know, on my screen here it looks a little orange, but... I'm going to describe it as a light pink with a gold sheen to it. Um, I'm going to try all of these lipsticks on for you guys. So, so this lipstick costs 99 cents. I got it on clearance so I got it for 50 cents. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it but it's light pink with a frost, a light frost to it. And the reason why I don't use this too much is that um, the frost and the kind of gold frost that it has, it, it just looks very whorish, I guess. <laughs> That's terrible to say, but um, on me, I, I just feel it's a little too much for me. Um, if I put it on lightly and I put like a little bit more of a neutral lip gloss on top of it, it'll it'll look better. But um, yeah, I, I don't find myself reaching for this too much. Um, I don't know. It it could work. I mean, it it doesn't look super terrible on me. I don't think. <laughs> uh, I but I just don't use it all that much. Um, I have a very very sensitive upper lip area so um, the first time I used this um, I actually got like a little bump on my upper lip. Um, that happens to me sometimes like when I get a cold or if I'm rubbing my nose a lot. So I was kind of scared that this is what caused it and you know it's so cheap you it kind of makes you wonder what the hell they're making this with. I would definitely suggest, you know, people trying this out because if it works well for you, then you've got yourself a really good lipstick that works for you for 99 cents. So that's good. In most drugstores, I think they probably have around, give or take, 10 colors. But this was the lightest, pinkest one that I came across, so that's all I really have to say about this. Um, it's The pros are that it's very cheap and the color is cute but like I said it's a little you know, disco pink for me. Okay, the next lipstick I'm going to review is the L'Oreal Color Juice Stick in the color Personality. Now, I bought this after watching Pinky Charms review on it, and this is her favorite drugstore lipstick, so that says a lot. Here's the color. This is Personality. You guys can check out my bling also. <laughs> so that's the color. It's a very light nude color, and it's got... ooh. It's got a very fruity smell. I almost forgot about the smell. <laughs> it smells really good. Let me 
This one costs around $10, but I got it when it was buy one get one free. Uh, my mom picked up a color and I got this one. So here I'm wearing personality and you could see it's I hope you guys could see that it's beige, nude-ish color. Um, one thing I should mention about this is that um, as I am applying it, it just gets more and more juicy. Like, um, if you guys take a look at the tip, see how it just became glossier? I don't know, you guys probably can't tell the difference, but take my word for it. As you're putting this on, it's like the juice from this lipstick comes to the surface. It's it's a cool effect and I like it because it's not like a regular lip gloss that's kind of drying. This is actually juicy. And so it also reminds me a little bit of a gloss. Um, and it's kind of sheer, like a gloss. So that's all I have to say about the L'Oreal Color Juice Stick. Um, it's a really good lipstick though. I'll probably try out a light pink color if they, if they have one. So the next one I'm going to review is the L'Oreal Intensely Moisturizing Lip Color in the color Moxie. Now this one I picked up because it was on sale at Rite Aid from $10 to $7. And I also saw Tuna Marie had this. And um, judging from her video, it looked like a light pink. So I was very interested in it. And here's the color. This one doesn't have a super strong scent to it. As I mentioned in my haul video for this, this is the most comfortable lipstick I've ever tried. My lips look all raw from being rubbed with the uh, tissue here. But hopefully you guys could see that. And this color is very close to my natural lip color. It's kind of like one of those things where it's like your lips but better look. Um, so I'm not afraid to put this on without a mirror because I know that the color won't be too overpowering. And like I said, it's the most comfortable lipstick and what I mean by that is if you've ever tried lipstick in your whole entire life, any old lipstick, as soon as you put it on, your lips know that it's wearing lipstick. It's like, oh, I'm wearing lipstick, I gotta be careful, I gotta watch my teeth and the corners of my mouth, whatever else. And you don't forget that you're wearing lipstick because you can feel it on your lips. But with the L'Oreal Hip lipstick, I can forget that I'm wearing lipstick. It just feels like, like I put on a lip balm and but not even that. I think a lip balm would feel more obvious than this lipstick does. Usually the L'Oreal hip colors run a little dark. I guess because they're supposed to be really pigmented. But this color I really like. Um, I've only had this for... I'd say like three or four days, but I really love it and out of these three, these are the only three lipsticks I own as of right now because I'm a lip gloss girl. So these are the only three and out of these three I like the L'Oreal Hip one the best. Also probably because um, the color suits me so well I feel. Well, I'm sorry I don't have too much to say about them and Spoon411 I'm sorry that it took me so long to talk about these two. So that's my review. If you have any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom. Bye!